up. You see the beautiful tree in the back. Beautiful floor space that Aaron and Christine have for you here. Where we are all working to accomplish an arm balance. Each individual chooses an arm balance that they would like to gain proficiency in so that they can be, you can be on the team, the We Can Do It team. Your t-shirt, you can order that for yourself and come to the workshop that's going to help you, again, gain proficiency in the poses. So my name is Debbie, and in my 7.30 a.m. vinyasa on Wednesday mornings, we have been working on, as a team, Vasti Stasana side plank pose. So if you viewed the first video regarding this pose, I took the poses just on a mat towards the center of the room. Now I'm going to show you how to work these poses at the wall to gain more strength through the legs, pelvic floor, lower abdominals, and shoulders. So to begin clumps, you're going to put your feet on the wall. Now I'm going to start on the right side, which means my back is going to be at your, you're going to be viewing my back body. Okay, so no disrespect, just the way it's working out for today. So I'm going to come on to my right side, and I'm going to put my feet on the wall. Now I'm going to take the first version that you saw in the previous video. Okay. Feet firmly on the wall. I want you to press four corners of each foot to the wall. Big toe, little toe wall, inner outer heel. Spread your toes, draw them away. Then lengthen them back to the wall. Elbow directly under the shoulder, hand in down dog. Notice how my entire structure is on the midline of the mat. If you let the top hip roll out or the top shoulder roll forward, your body weight will be misaligned, everyone. The pose will be more difficult. Now your left hand can be on your hip or on the mat for support. You're going to go ahead and lift the left hip up as you press your feet firmly to the wall. Press into the wall. Feel how that action engages all the leg muscles. Now consciously lift your kneecaps to engage your quads more firmly. Make the left arm pose high. Stay long through the back of the neck by lifting your chin off your chest. And now tone the pelvic floor and belly, but soften your gaze for three, two, one. Great effort, lower the arm, lower your hips, and come down. Now we'll switch sides. Here, I'm going to be facing you. Again, line up your body first. Make sure the elbow is under the shoulder, the four corners of your left hand are firmly grounding down, fingers nicely spread. Now, heels, hips, shoulders on the midline of the mat. Then start to engage. Press the four corners of each foot to the baseboard. Scoot towards the wall a little more if you don't feel firmly connected. Legs are firming up because you're pressing out through the big toe, little toe ball, inner outer heel. Now you can consciously lift the kneecaps to engage the quads. Tone your pelvic floor and belly as the tailbone lengthens toward the heels. Right hand on your thigh or right hand on the mat. Ahead. Press yourself up with the right hand. Then if the right shoulder drops forward, lift it. Okay? You're in one line from the elbow, across the collarbones, through the upper arm. Press into the wall. Lift your hips a little higher. Nice. And then slowly come down. Great effort, everyone. Good. Now we'll take the second version. Again, my back is going to be towards you. You want to take it with a straight arm, but 
but you're going to take a modification by bending the top leg. So your left hand is on the mat to begin after you make all the same alignment, alignment points that you did on the forearm balance. Lift up. You're going to bend your top leg. With a 90 degree bend, you're going to put your foot firmly on the mat. And then you press the foot down to lift the hips up. And then you extend it out equally from the breastbone through the arm lines. Okay, tailbone towards your back heel, base of the skull toward the front of the room. Okay, deep breath in, lift a little higher, and then exhale, lower slow. Again, if there's any compression in the shoulder joint, you can move the hand forward. Otherwise, you can stack the wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Make sure you're on the midline of your mat. And then engage, starting with your feet. Press them firmly to the wall. Use the right hand, help yourself get up. Then you can bend the top leg and bring the foot to the floor. 90 degree bend, keep the knee joint set. Okay? Knee directly over ankle. Toes straight on. Maybe the right arm goes high as you open the upper chest. Take a deep breath in, lift a little higher. Press your left foot to the wall, right foot to the floor, and then slowly come down. And now we're going to take the full version. Firmly grounding, whole body's in one narrow plane. Place your wrist under your shoulder. You can go ahead, straighten the right arm with the left hand. Press yourself up. Press your feet to the wall. Feel the legs engage. Muscular energy in the legs so that your pelvic bone, the heaviest bone in your body, is equally supported from the hips down to the feet. And then from the hips through the shoulders. Deep breath in. And exhale. Calm down. Relax and then switch sides. watching the video. Hope to see you in class soon. Take care.